Hey, everybody. This podcast is uh, brought to you and powered by Sunday, Sunday Cool. cool. So no, watch this ad, ad or listen. listen. Quite the kiss. Hey, everyone. Hey, guys. <laughs> How's it going? How you doing? Oh, you good? It's just excellent. Oh, there we are. <laughs> um, we want to let you guys know about something really, really neat that we're doing. It's called Build Your, your brand. brand. Go to sundaycool.com forward slash build your brand. Guess what? We have fully customizable swag packages for you mm-hmm. and for your brand to make your brand the best it possibly be. Yeah, that means you. we do more than just shirts. So whatever art that you have on a shirt, you can throw it on a hat, a note jotter, a water bottle, a wristband, anything you like. And we have these packages already built for you. So all you have to do is just get with us and we can create your art for you if you don't have some of it already. And we can make your brand beautiful. It's going to make you stand out. It's going to unite yeah. you and your community. And it's going to be a really big deal. Yeah. So go to sundaycool.com for slash build your brand. brand. Man, I feel like this has been really wholesome. A little yeah. ASMR kind of. Yeah. This hurts my back standing. Like Does this? It? I kind of like it. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Back to the show. Okay, you get $2 million right now, but you cannot poop in a toilet for the rest of your life. No mm-hmm. porta potties, no ceramic thrones whatsoever, no yeah. toilets. Do you take that deal? Yeah, not a problem for me. For real? Not even an ounce of What's a problem. What's your plan? Diapers outside? Outside. We outside. live in the woods. What if, uh, like, what if you're in an airport? I hold my Good poop question. when I'm traveling. I don't poop That's until true. I get Same. home. You hold it? She can go for days without pooping. <laughs> really? Sometimes a week. Has Dude. it ever become a problem, though, where you're like, I'm not going to go the day I'm flying, and then you're like day three in a trip, and you're like, okay, I should be worried. At I, that point, if I'm arrived at my destination, all I need to do is find some woods. It's true. I used to get the uh, the travel constipation. Yeah. But I don't anymore. You have no I, shame, no guilt. I think it's honestly, I think it's a brain thing. It, like your brain yeah, yeah. knows when not to do it. But if you get comfortable enough, like once you start traveling more, I'm looking at it. I never used to poop when camping. But then we started going annually, like to big camping trips, like three days. Yeah. And like, I think like in the most recent camping trip, I took a deuce in the fo- forest. Those are Josh's favorite poops. They are. They're so free. Dude, it's <laughs> the best. You're out there by yourself. I saw a tortoise literally cross my path as I was sitting. Between was, your legs? You were saying, yeah, right <laughs> between my <laughs> <the> legs. No! <laughs> Rivers! It was like five minutes. I was like, just like me screaming, no! I couldn't stop. He wouldn't slow down. Yeah, dude, I'd do it for a million dollars. Really? Yeah. What's the lowest amount of money you would take <laughs> to never poop in a toilet ever again? How long is ever again? Ever for again. your whole life. Uh, yeah, a million probably. That's yeah, how I much a like toilet I, is worth to me. I feel like a half a million is not, Very, not worth it. Not I think a million it. you could, that's, that's a change million. your life money for now. Yeah. Very that's important. I don't know. I mean, that's what we spend in like half a year though. Yeah. What are you talking I'll, about? I'll, I'll, I'll buy a million dollar home and I'll build a really cool outside area where, where I can. That's like, where just I was pen, going. Like a pen. Yeah. I'll just be in a, it'll just be a pen <laughs> for like what, poop. What's the essence of a toilet? Yeah. Because can I get a five gallon bucket and like put a pool noodle around it? Dude, I, yeah, I mean, in like in Asia, I think that counts as a toilet. In China and stuff, yeah. they just straight up squat. Yeah. They do, and yeah. that's horrifying to me that they just poop in a hole together. Well, no, no to me, I mean, just, like their toilets are. There's no toilet. Yeah, like, it's they, a hole. Yeah, but they're not doing it together. <laughs> we only cool if we they only, did though. No, but we did go to a rest stop, <laughs> and it was literally in the middle of nowhere, and there's just trenches dug with well, like wooden boards over them with that's the holes. crazy no doors we yeah. walk in and we're like oh yeah no shame it's just not what we're used to not a custom <laughs> that is that is that would be difficult that yeah. would be I, very very difficult i would start marketing my pooping when i'm traveling i would say like hey i'm gonna be in portland catch me pooping yeah. so that all the composters can come find catch me, me pooping there's a, there is an app where you can um track your poops and you can like leave reviews of your poops and it's like <laughs> stars. I'm like, can we make this app bigger? Because how fun would that be if you just follow around your friends and you just get notified every time they poop and it's like, where did you poop? And what was the review? How what was, was the it? rating? The yeah. length. Yeah, exactly. Why don't, we, why don't we start a poop text? <laughs> Please, let's, let's do it. My girlfriend and I used to text each other after every poop. Let's figure out if we could do something where it's like, uh, 
something with our fans too. Like, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like uh, no, everyone, we all get notified. <laughs> like, sh- like show the, the ceiling where you're pooping, <laughs> you know, you know, or those, POV you're yeah. pooping. So it's like, whatever's in front of you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, or like, you know, those bracelets that like, uh, they, like they vibrate or get warm whenever you're like your, um, spouse like touches it and is thinking of you. Like for people that are like long distance traveling, what? That's cute. Like, it's a bracelet. Like it's like, Oh, when it like vibrates, it's like, Hey, that's when they're thinking of you. Or like, that's their, I love you. We need to do that. We need to sell those but for pooping Poop. and so when all when all of our friends of the show are just pooping anywhere they could press this button and we can all know together our family's pooping right now a poop half has been be like, <laughs> <laughs> it'd be so funny everybody's oh, super regular how about a song Ooh-hoo! yes you want a song yes please i'm feeling feeling pretty soulful today maybe a little some Ooh. Ooh. or yeah. maybe a little a little slow know. jam or something we'll bring it take it down a notch yeah yeah. Do something kind of slow. Slow. Oh, that was cool. That was like a little Barry White impression. Oh, Barry White. Yeah. All right. I don't I don't think I can play something on the ukulele. I'm going to try to find something in the machine. You okay. can mix something probably yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty quick. I've, I've been working on something, so we'll just oh. try this. Oh. You guys I ready? I hope it matches. Yeah. I and mean, we can All try right. it. Yeah. All right, here we go. We'll just come up with something. <clears throat> and go. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Ninjas of Butterflies, y'all. We figured we'd slow it down today. This song goes out to all you love birds out there. So grab that person that you love and bring them in close and whisper these sweet, sweet words into their ear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you know Bigfoot still walks this earth? Yeah, he does. Or that sloths can hold the breath under water longer than a dolphin. Mm. Is it true that Matt Damon bought a zoo? What you gonna do with that zoo, Matthew? Yeah, I still have doubts that we actually landed on the moon we probably did but that's definitely questionable anyways these are just a couple of things that i wanted y'all to hear today something sweet that you can whisper into the person you loves you but i figured we'd start the show episode 49 of ninjas are butterflies yeah Hit it over, give it over, let me have it, four-leaf go forever, any, anything, I, all I want to do is call you my baby, my baby. All right. So take my hand, hold me tight, promise you can keep me right, after you do, I'ma just call you my little lady. Oh, Woo! wow. My lady. Okay. Ah, Man. Ninjas. Oh, yeah. Ninjas are butterflies. Okay. Let's we'll start the show. All right, we can do that. We'll start the show. All right. Mm. That sounded real good. So we, we, do you want to? Okay, well, we, we can stop the song now. Ooh-hoo. Stop the song. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and don't. Where this song is over now. So but we'll see you next time, y'all. So it's over. Remember to take it real. So it's over. Okay. okay. Woo. Yep. We, we got it. You can. Yep. You can take. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. So. Wow. <laughs> Slow. <laughs> oh yeah. I definitely nailed every single word in that first score. <laughs> 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 it's like you had to catch up. Too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my baby. Woo. So good. Anyways, we just want to do a little slow jam. Just today. something a little fun. Nice. A little, little slow jam there for you. That was so funny. Okay, everyone. What do you got over there? I got something. Topic I got of something. The, topic of the day. This is all we're going to talk about today. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. We never cool. talk fully about these questions. No, because most of the time we answer them really quickly, but yeah. this one's going to. This one's. Had a lot of debate. Yep. Okay. I'm excited. <sighs> Today's question. Sent in by a viewer. Should the elder? 
Let me do it again. Hey, let's, let's take it from the top, dude. Yeah, yeah, you're, okay. good. you're good. You're better than that. I got a question for you guys. Oh, no way. Yeah. Question sent in by a viewer. Mm. Should the elder, elder, I can't say it. So don't worry, you're good. You're Should, good right? hey, look okay. at me, look at me, look at me. Hey, I know you can do it. Okay. And I love you. Yeah. yeah. I don't you're know good. why I can't say it. That's good. Should the elderly <laughs> watch their backs? Oh. Should the elderly, <laughs> why, why is it so hard for me to say? Elderly. 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 <laughs> Why is it with that in the middle? Elderly. Elderly. Um, Should the I, elderly watch their backs? That's such, there's nothing more to that question? Nope, that's it. I, I mean, if it's, I'm going to say no, but it confuses me, yeah. but I'm going to say no because that seems like a Should weird they watch threat their backs? or something. Yeah, that's, that is, it does sound like a threat, yeah, right? I don't think anyone's so coming no. out for the elderly. Yeah, Andrew? Yeah, I, I'm confused too, but I agree with you, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So no, they don't need no, to watch. Yeah. Them. Yeah. I would say no. They don't need to watch their backs. Yeah. Yeah. It seems weird. Like, Lily. why would you threaten them? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. No. No, they don't need to watch their backs, but they need to watch their posture. That's true. Yeah. That's actually a really good point. They don't need to watch their backs, but they should watch their posture. Is I like that. What What is right behind you? What is that? <gasps> That's what you're talking about. What is that? Is that a hatchet? Oh. <laughs> is that a note attached to it? What is that? In the world? Uh, what the heck? Did you bring that in, Lily? No. It's right behind her. That's right? really weird. It looks I mean, it was ominous. Like, so you have like, a hat. She hit a hatchet behind the couch. Yeah, it was right. In what does spot. the note say? Watch your back. I'm coming for you, geezers. Oh my goodness! What? What? Wait, wait. Show the camera. Who who, who signed it? What? I what? Really? What is, it? is that a hatchet? She was that written in blood? What in the world? No. So I'm elderly. I guess you do have to watch your backs because Lily's coming after you. Welcome to the show. Why? <laughs> The is no doubt one of God's You were martial arts! Who guys? Now we're planting evidence. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's what we do here. <laughs> Anything for a laugh. Yeah. I'll plant evidence for a laugh. That's right. Uh-oh. Hey, I'm back. And hey, I have Andrew's I have back. gifts. Andrew's back. <gasps> Pop tarts. Andrew's back, dude. If this is unfrosted, if it's unfrosted, I'm losing. No, it's frosted. I feel it. I feel it. They are. I couldn't find wild berry, but what I did was Ooh. get the flavors that you made fun of. Ugh. S'mores. And I swapped Ugh. them. Ugh. So you gave them both s'mores? Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't Even find the smell a wild. of it, no, dude. Be quiet. No, the smell. I can. I hate. It's, sounds, it's like it's a terrible graham No, cracker. it's not that bad. It's so bad. It's a terrible graham cracker. It's a s'mores pot tart. It's not supposed to be a graham cracker. Ugh. It's so gross. It is. <laughs> it's like paste. It's so. It's just chalky paste. Listen, oh, is it? Yeah. I hate no. marshmallows. Hey, whoa. I hate marshmallows. You and you hatchet? always say I hate marshmallows too, but you're a poser marshmallow. That's more hater. like a fluff. I love fluff. Hey. Can you blame the guy you love, Fluff? I don't mind strawberry. Strawberry's the best. I, I just understand. think it's an old old person Pop-Tart. Oh, no. okay. All right. Well, s'mores is What's your for... favorite Pop-Tart? Mine's strawberry. <laughs> 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 What's your favorite Pop-Tart? I like the s'mores one. <laughs> Pooped your diaper. No. That's you. No, the people that eat s'mores, they go, I'll take the s'mores. That's the s'more no. people. Yeah. No. I'm that person. No, you're not. You're like, you're... Mm, can I get this strawberry? I have a penny. Make fun of her now. That should be enough. Make fun of her now. He won't. I'm his wife. Yeah, right. Yeah. I would never. Hey, after the pod, though. Okay? <laughs> Watch us. <laughs> Women. <laughs> yeah. Love them. Love them. Want to live with them. But you can't. In the world. Live without them. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> <laughs> because we go extinct. Exactly. We wouldn't be here. Let's give it up for women. Wow, she's not even clapping. You all right? Yes. What was a stare? Whoa. <laughs> Nothing. Like, oh, it was really aggressive. She's like, just, been, she's literally, saying, did you see like her, her, okay. her white knuckling the screws? You've been saying that just, to me. You've been dude, like, why are you staring at me? I keep catching her staring at me. And I said, what are you looking at? Like, she what's grid, up? She just she's like, can I not just look at you? I can't look at you. I'm your wife. But I did it to her the other night. Yeah. When she was feeding Jane, I just go... <laughs> Dude, I'm and take- she goes, she goes, what are you doing? I said, see, 
Dude. It's weird just to stare. Yes. <laughs> I'm taking your side on this. I've been laying in bed all week and I've caught Paige so many times. I'll be, you know, like on my phone and I'll look up and she's just <laughs> like, she's no longer reading. I'm like, what? what's up? <laughs> she's like, can same thing? Can I not? Am I not? Can I not look at, at you? you? Why, why? What are you thinking when you're looking at? Josh? Can I say what she's thinking? This is her. Well, your guess. Your guess. Your guess. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I have to live with this man for the rest no. of my life. <laughs> no, a goober. No. Where, so, where did I go wrong? No. Don't say that. I'm That's looking at you because you're, I love you're, you. You're, you're I think cat. you're handsome. No, brother. Listen. Watch it. I get it. There's been times where I'll just be turned around in my chair just staring at you. <laughs> yeah. And I'll watch you for hours, man. Yeah. Yeah, because you are a handsome guy. You are. You're handsome. Yeah. See why we all look at you? Because you're handsome. You're like Brad Pitt from Legends of the Fall. That's why every single person is subscribed to this podcast is because they want to see how handsome you are. <laughs> really? Yeah. Whoa. It's, a, it's okay, bud. <laughs> so, all right. Lily, how long does he have to look at you back before he's allowed to look back away? Because that's the thing that makes it always feel weird. That also sounded like a riddle. It was. I'm like, I don't know. What do you say? You know I mean? like Three times when, when you're stare. <laughs> so like, <laughs> double that. Everything stare I say is not a riddle. When will you do it? <laughs> no, but like, if you're staring at Josh yeah. and he looks up and acknowledges it, like, what are you hoping for? Oh, if he looks at me, oh, I'll do this. Him. If he looks up, I go. Oh, okay. So you're not wanting to you know, anything. No, I'm not no. wanting to make eye contact. What are you? What are you thinking whenever you're looking at him? Because he told you what you he thinks you're thinking. Um, honestly, probably nothing about even you. I just am, I've, I just fixated Whoa. you were my focal point and I'm off on another planet. That's kind of so like I'm how like when nothing, when dogs are pooping, you know how they look at you in the eye? <laughs> <Yeah>. That's <laughs> literally the exact same thing. It's so weird. So like, Lily, <laughs> Lily's mentally pooping in her mind, just getting rid of all the bad information or just, yeah. You know, and then just staring at you. You know why dogs do that though, right? Apparently I've heard it's because they're vulnerable. Yeah. And yeah. You, oh, they're okay, safe. Yeah. Place. Looking to you. Yeah. So they're like, protect Hey, them. protect me. Well, I'm pooping, dude. That's why when they're done pooping, they like give a little little run after. Yeah, that's like all right, <laughs> all right. That's what we're gonna have to start doing if we take that two million dollar deal. It's <laughs> <laughs> like figure out, Kels, look at me, look at me. <laughs> You're not gonna attack me, are you? <laughs> Ada does very vulnerable right now. <laughs> when Ada poops in the woods, she looks at us. But you can't hold look on, back hold at her. On, hold I love that on, you say on. like like all kids just poop in the woods. You know, all kids poop in the woods. Yeah, because you know when poop kids poop in the woods as they do. Dude, she is so ready to be potty trained. Yeah, but she just it's like it's going to be a commitment. But yeah. she like she'll go and hide wherever to poop. Yeah, and if you like look at her, go hi. She goes ah, <laughs> <laughs> like stop looking at me. Yeah. Look away. That's what I make whenever people pass by in the stall when I'm pooping and they peek in. It's like is anyone in there? <laughs> But she literally has a place in the woods in our backyard. That's, so that's funny. like her place, like yeah. a dog. You should literally make her a little tiny out, outhouse. outhouse there. We thought about out it. That'd be so <laughs> yeah. funny, dude. Oh, that's we awesome. We did think about it. That's great. How's everyone's week? Oh, it was phenomenal. It Andrew's was, so was fun. Yeah. Andrew had some surgery. Andrew, Andrew had, had some, some surgery. surgery. They and cut him open. And now he could barely walk. Heart. What? Did they take your heart out? <laughs> no, it was a. Um, trying to be seven feet tall oh that's right yeah. yeah didn't really work so now i'm just in pain hippo <laughs> what would they replace his heart with you think it's hippo right hippo yeah hippo hippo <laughs> that's a hippo violation did how you? much did you pay for your surgery just kidding Don't tell me. <laughs> that's against the law out of pocket what's your group id number on your insurance <laughs> yeah. card um what did you watch a show did i watch in a recovery show? i did not I told Paige you guys should watch Peaky Blinders. Dude, he's been editing like the whole Peaky time he's been out. Yeah. Silly boy. I, I stayed ahead. Yeah. Silly. No, that's what we expect. I mean, like, listen, there's yeah. there's things. I mean, no excuse. Yeah. I mean, so, what's his face? Just got married and we're like, hey, we know you're getting married in like an hour or two, but like, hey, if you could just make some, you know, make some sales calls or something, yeah, yeah. I'd really appreciate it. Yeah. I, I do yeah, want to say it's really important. No, I'm joking. Oh, <laughs> that's a hypothetical situation. Next week. Oh, I do want to say if you're, if you're like, Going back, if you were watching 47 or 48 and you were like, what on earth is happening? I was a little high. <laughs> Prescribed drugs. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I was, I was a little. <laughs> it was like, yeah. it was like yeah. I was just high all of episode 47. Not on the episode. Not the on edit. the episode. The on edit. the edit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you did it. I asked you when you came in yesterday because yeah. he did his Instagram story and he's like zooming in on a lamp. He's like, the lamp is staring at me. I saw the it. lamp looked like a skull. <laughs> Paige told me immediately she came in the room. She was like, take that stupid story down. <laughs> I thought it was like, so funny. I, was like, I thought nope. it was too. Why is the lamp that? in the middle of the yard? 
Get out of here. Why that's, is it saying hello, Andrew? That's how I'm going to decorate for Halloween. Wait, I'm, where did my face go? <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> that lamp stole my face. That lamp stole my face. <laughs> but Paige, the lamp stole my face. Do you know where it's at? <laughs> You're, it's on your head, on your face. Um, so everyone's weak? Yeah. Okay. It was I, phenomenal. I started using a new skincare item called Snail Mucin. Oh. And it's, it's literally snails. What? What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. That sounds terrible. You, how do you not know about this? Like I, didn't, you're, like, I didn't tell him because he yelled at me about buying too much on Amazon. Like it's blended up snails or it's actual snails you just let crawl it's, across your face? <laughs> <laughs> you know when snails leave a track behind them of sticky yeah. stuff? It's yeah. that. Sticky stuff. Ew. It's legitimate yes. snail. Okay. All right. Um it's a Korean skincare thing. Okay. That makes sense. That makes okay. sense. <laughs> it's kind of like that Sandra Bullock stuff. <laughs> Dude, well, oh, yeah. oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> um, when I was in South Korea, they the family I was living with, they brought me to their friend that like does like the medicinal. Yeah. Um, like, Home remedies stuff. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, he's like, here, I want you to have this. And it was this ball of like, don't know what was in it, but it was gold leaf. And it was like, a hundred dollar medicine ball and he's like that will uh detox you and make you feel really good and i ate it and i thought i was dying I'm what like, do you mean it was the most disgusting thing ever and when he says it detoxes your blood yeah you poop you just you like within minutes it's like <laughs> yeah <laughs> And I'm just like <laughs> clears you out. Doing like one of these things, and I'm telling like, oh my gosh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> there's so many <laughs> toxins. <laughs> Imagine if he runs back. He's like, hey, so um, how did that affect your skin? Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean my skin? I don't you, have to say no, you rub it. You rub it on your skin. It's no, a bath bomb. It. <laughs> it's a bath. You're supposed to put it in the bathtub. <laughs> it tasted really funny. What happens if you eat it? I, think I don't a, know. <laughs> I think I'm allergic to it because my stomach feels itchy. <laughs> Where's my face? <laughs> what does that lamp have my face? <laughs> that lamp is wearing my face. <laughs> that Korean lamp has my face on it. Bro, I did eat a ton of kimchi before taking that story. Did you? Could have oh. been something in it. Yeah. Where do you get your kimchi? I get my kimchi from uh, Takashi at Funko. Was he your dad? Pretty much. Andy's no, he's dad. Andy's dad. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's true. Oh, he's got he's got uh, some kimchi behind the counter oh, if sick. you just ask him for it. I used to have a kimchi dealer, and her, my favorite was called Feel the Burn. Oh, you got a kimchi guy? Kimchi lady. Oh. oh. Mm. Sorry to assume. <laughs> I wonder what she's doing these days. Yeah, my hustling. Next, probably still hustling the kimchi game. Yeah. Yeah. My, yeah. Ne- my next door neighbor back home, or like a couple streets down, he uh, his mom made kimchi, and any time I'd ask, I'd be like, can I get a little for like a dish? And he'd come over with one of those like tubs. Yes. His mom was so excited someone wanted kimchi. It's so good for you. Yeah. Speaking of kimchi... And blowing up the bathroom. Yes. I've been listening to a podcast recently talking about the atomic bomb. Okay. Mm. And the Oppenheimer stuff. Which yeah, yeah, yeah. When this comes out, Oppenheimer has been out for a couple of weeks. Well, we're going to watch it tomorrow. We are. Except Lily because she's like. I don't even I, want to. Stop. Can't. I don't want to. Lily, you have to come. No, Figure listen, it out. No, you guys are a bunch of Figure brats. it out. Hey, Figure whoa. it out. And also. Figure it out. In particular. I, this is. Now it's getting real. Uh-oh. In particular, my husband. Because we have been talking about this movie for so long. He says to me yesterday, hey, can you go see the movie tomorrow? No, I cannot go see a movie tomorrow. It's been out. It, the, 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 time, the day that it's going to be released has been out for over a year, Lil. Put it on your calendar. You knew when it was going to happen. I didn't know you guys were going to go see it tomorrow. It's obvious that you don't care if I see it or not. No, we're just making it a priority, okay? All right. <laughs> My kids' are, birthday's tomorrow. I have a funeral I need to go to tomorrow, but I'm putting it all on the back burner. Yeah. <laughs> I have to baptize some kids. I said, no, that's not going to happen. No. No, no that's right. not important. <laughs> it's not important. I'm driving right past any fires, anything that's happening, yeah. because this is important. Yeah, I've yeah. had this on my calendar for a long time. And you man. should have been there. You should have gone. Huh? I said, good man. Yeah. Huh. Real quick. Can you mute the TV? It's loud okay. as heck. Oh, you can hear it? Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh. Sorry. No, that might be outside. No. I, I was trying to figure it out. It's the TV. He's okay, good. we're good. Um, but I still anyways. hear it. It is outside. There's other no, stuff. There's, out there's there. music speaking, out there. Speaking of the Oppenheimer stuff. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of um, the atomic bomb, which I was talking about, um, they went into this whole like conspiracy theory of like, um, one of the theories was that you guys have probably heard this that 
when we ignited the first atomic bomb, um, all of a sudden aliens started showing up. So, like, there's a bunch of UFO sightings. So, the Roswell thing happened very shortly after the first atomic bomb went off. Okay. And just all these people were reporting sightings. And <clears throat> one of the things that I thought was so weird that I didn't listen to or I didn't know about until after we talked about those lights in the sky, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they like, yeah. stopped and spread apart. Mm-hmm. Wacky. These, these people in the 40s, no, it would have been the, yeah, the 40s, Um, they said no one knew that the atomic bomb went off, but they just started seeing sightings. All these people in New Mexico were reporting this. It looked like a meteor shower coming down, and then it broke apart into separate orbs what? and then stopped. And it said that they flew parallel to the ground, exactly like that video. Wow! Like they described it to this the, is the T. Same time as the world the, as the nuclear bomb going off in Japan. Yes. Wow. Dude, yeah. Okay. This makes so much sense, though. Like going back to if it's people from the future, if you were coming to save humanity from a cataclysmic event. Wouldn't you be trying to affect the creation of mm-hmm. one of or our even st- or just study it even? Yeah, right. Because I mean, like that could be a lot. Of, that's one of the things they say they're just here to observe. Yeah, like, things. I don't know. But one of the weird. theories, that's yeah, one of the theories is that it's um, they, <laughs> it's a crazy theory, <laughs> but it's like uh, the it's like humans uh-huh. from a different inter like a multiverse, of okay. course, that they can only travel. Because of this whole like mixing of atoms, it's weird. I don't even know how to explain yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But they said when they split the atom, that was detrimental to the multiverse. Oh, and so they came here to be like, "Hey, yeah, you can't be doing this because you're gonna mess everything up." How fun is that? They need to make a movie about that. That would be yeah. fun. I would That's watch. That's actually like that. all what Oppenheimer is about. <laughs> they really? just they. <laughs> They do the bomb a, right in the first five minutes, and yeah. it's just all aliens. And Spider-Man shows up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Doctor Strange, what have you done? I That's wacky, the though. It's crazy that the um, that the the accounts are matching up too, and they're yeah. seeing the same things. That's but it was so weird because I was listening to this, and this podcast, this the one that I was listening to, it came out in like 2018. Yeah, so it was bef- well before these lights showed up. But they Jeez. described these people. And some people saw it while they're flying uh, on a plane. Yeah. They looked out the window and they're like, oh my gosh, look, at there's a meteor. Wow. And then all of a sudden it's like, and then it splits apart and then they just zoom off. Yeah. Oh man. And so, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, they just look way bigger than drones too. Cause I'm seeing a ton of drone yeah, shows yeah. and these just, that's, there's no, there's no way it's just a regular drone. Did you hear right. about those? I'm really those? into drone shows right now. <laughs> they're cool. <laughs> Have they're you seen so them? cool. That's some booger eater pastime. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? What? <laughs> Have you seen it? Have it's you not amazing. seen? How dare I you? Seen it. <laughs> Booger what Eater Fest. That's actually name. a really great name for a band or a podcast. <laughs> um, Booger um, Eater Pastime. I think it was in New York or something. Mm-hmm. They had the the giant drone show. Okay. And it was like, I don't even know. I want to say like 700 drones or something. Huge. Yeah. And it lost connection and they all went into the water. Uh-oh. Oh, and so all these like, boats had, they're like literally scooping up hundreds of these bro. drones. Like, I think they said it equated to like $2 million worth of <gasps> How drones. How sad is that? <laughs> How sad like, would you? My drone. My drones. <laughs> it's only some dude just. <laughs> no, he's like this. <laughs> my drone. My drones. <laughs> <laughs> all the book readers are like, oh. <laughs> oh. Man. <laughs> At least I still have my buggers. <laughs> <laughs> Those will never run out of Bluetooth. <laughs> um, oh it's just gosh. some guy that just accidentally connected to his like his speaker or something. <laughs> They're going to be cool. No, my, my bad. You but, told me, I don't know if you're going to talk about this. You told me the other day something that was so freaky about the atomic bomb. Uh, What? It was that when they did their initial test, like when they were going to launch oh. it off. With the burning the atmosphere, they had no idea what was going to happen. Yeah, there was they there was they literally had no idea what was going to happen when they split the atom for the first time. Yeah, and a uh, for real risk. Yeah, was that they were going to wipe out humanity? Literally, that they so it was a gamble. Burn, they could burn up the atmosphere and everyone on Earth would die, but they still did it. They were yeah. willing to take that risk yeah. for what science that wouldn't even matter, bro. Yeah. And I it's, thought about that. This this is a little too, mm, whatever. Okay. But um, how did the U.S. not? How was it not a war crime 
what happened, what they did to Japan. I was, dude, I was thinking about that because day. one of the excuses that they use on it was Hiroshima first and then um, Nagasaki second. Yeah, yeah, Nagasaki was primarily a military base, mm-hmm. but Hiroshima, it was. They said it was something like over seventy five thousand civilians were gone. I'm like, man. See, I was looking that up um, recently because I was like, I've never because I don't know anything about World War Two. I don't know anything about um, the World Wars, but. I looked up, I was like, I wonder how much of a warning that it could happen. Because I was watching yeah. one of the nuclear There's blasts. No warning. They I, had no I, warning. I watched one of the um, atom bomb like videos and one of the guy one of the top comments said, This could happen to us on any Tuesday. Oof. <laughs> yeah. Like it's like it's that and I'm like, I wonder how much of an um a, a heads up they we would get. I and mean, obviously they didn't get any before, but I'm sure we would get something now where it's like fit whether it's thirty minutes or whatever. Um, or five. Well, I'm, I'm but back then, they had no warning. There was even pamphlets, apparently, that they dropped in some other type of scenario. Maybe, like, I think it was before the atom bomb, like, way before, of just, like, letting them people know. You can look pictures of it, and it's America dropping pamphlets on oh the boy. city. I don't believe it. And no, no, no. It's oh. not. It's not. This is way before that, but it was, like, just letting them know, like, what we're building, what's possible. It's not before the actual oh. um, events like directly before because that they're not saying evacuate, yeah. but there are pamphlets that they have pictures of of Americans just saying like, "Hey, like this is bad. You need to leave." Uh, that kind of sounds like propaganda. Like the U.S. is like, "Hey, we, we, warned, we them. warned them." But it's I looked it up online, like because I was actually really curious. So I don't know where the pamphlets like who's yeah. yeah. When I worked when crazy. I worked at Disney, you know, it, we had every single person from every single culture yeah. come through Mouse Gear, and I'll never forget uh, there was a language barrier. These people, I would always ask you, I, I always asked where you're from because when I was like checking someone out in the queue because you could get the craziest answers and they were like, yeah, oh, Japan. Um, and they were from Hiroshima or no, they were from Japan. And I was telling them about how we had some cultural exchange people working there that were from Hiroshima, but we had such a language barrier that all I was saying was Hiroshima, Hiroshima. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I, they left later and I'm like, I wonder what they thought I was trying to say. This is the only Scary. thing. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I'm familiar. We did this, you know, yeah. whatever. Anyway, crazy. But, no, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that, us. Us. <laughs> we're oh, responsible. Yeah, we're aware. Uh, <laughs> they're like, oh, okay. You guys need to listen to that podcast though because I learned so much information about yeah. the whole Manhattan Project and all that stuff. Nice, yeah. I was crazy. Like, I heard about the the Ken Burns documentary on World War One and Two are apparently phenomenal too, and I need to I need to just do de- de- do some deep dives in World War Two. Yeah, I wonder what I need to try to watch before tomorrow. I wonder if there's anything I need to know. You should listen beforehand. to this podcast honestly, because okay. like it gave a ton of uh, content information about Oppenheimer. Yeah, and how he was pro communist, mm-hmm. and but he never registered as a communist, but he would. Uh, um, send donations to communist parties. Yeah. And uh, basically it, who doesn't? That first of all, who doesn't ruining his <laughs> career? Cause they thought that he was uh, trading the atomic bomb secrets with Russia, even though they couldn't prove it, but he was basically blacklisted from the government Jeez. and then became a professor at Princeton. I'm excited to see the movie information because it's just, I've, I've seen the, I've seen the edits right now. It's just really creepy. I've seen like his yeah. speech that he did beforehand, that whole destroyer of world stuff. It's creepy. Yeah. I'm creepy. Quit bragging. Lily, we'll see you there. We can't wait to watch it. I won't be there. What was that? Oh, that was you breathing. <laughs> no. It sounded like static. <laughs> ah. Ow! It's happening. Oh. <laughs> Where's my face? I'm very Joke's excited on. to watch cinematography and just from a yeah. camera work point of view. Yeah. Let's talk about the movie that you guys literally are not allowed to see without me. I thought this was on that list, but Bar- obviously I'm not a priority. Barbie? You never communicated no. that. Oh. What are you talking about? You never said, hey, we have there to she go is see with the- Yes, Open yes, yes. yes. Here's something. I need you all to cut your hand open right now <laughs> and then do this and shake my hand. Okay. You will not go see Napoleon without me. Okay, yeah. Definitely not. Yeah, we will not. Thank Deal. you. Deal. Yeah. Deal. With Joaquin Phoenix. That one looks really intense. Yeah. Ridley so Scott. Good. Really awesome. Shoot. Jeez, man. Also, Killer of the... Killer of the Flower Moon. Flower Moon. Martin yeah, Scorsese. That good. Golly, that dude. So good. We're so spoiled. I know. Yeah. But all, what's going on with the strike, the though? The strike is ruining everything. <laughs> Bro. Is it really? Why? The writer strike and then the actor guild. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're on a strike right now, too. So all shows and stuff have, like, ramp stopped. Shows, movies, everything. Listen, all writing. 
I am not a writer or an actor. <laughs> However, I can tell you that the average working individual has a hard time empathizing with people who are complaining about money that make millions of dollars a year. True. Yeah. True. Your, your strife is I not. Think, I think there's not all actors. I think there's more. It's most most of the people that are um, really struggling are the people that don't get the type of residuals anymore mm. because yep. you have shows that are on Netflix now that are paying the people at Netflix, but it's not paying the people oh, on the show anymore. I see, I and see. so you watch, think of New Girl. How many I times know that. New yeah. Girl gets um, uh, watched or anything like that? Now it's on Peacock, but whatever. But it's like, you think every actor on there is getting residuals? They're not. And That's it's like, because like, oh. you, you're buying the package and then it's done. That is frustrating. And so um, I, don't, I know it's different for every type of project and different levels, but so there are people I know that are probably really struggling, but then there's other people that's like, come on. Yeah, the, Come on. the dude who's in Gilmore Girls and Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Though? I hated that interview. <laughs> yeah. He was so aggressive. Yeah, well, he's like, Bob Iger gets paid 400 times the amount of the lowest paid employee at Disney. And I'm like, I'm just curious what he made up from Guardians of the Galaxy. He got paid $5 million. <laughs> it's like, bro, you make like 200 <laughs> times more than the average yeah. employee. So maybe you are speaking for the, um, the, for the littler guy. But maybe we should put the littler guy on the pedestal instead of the yeah. big faces of the thing because right now it's like we're looking at your paycheck and it's like we don't have we don't have the context to judge it fairly. And also, so we just look at it on paper and in paper say, it's like it looks like you got you're doing all right. In Bob okay. Iger's defense, yeah, the dude he's cutting back because last year Disney lost eight hundred million dollars. Really, they had a loss of eight hundred million dollars. There was no gain. Yeah, and so he's like. You guys are expecting me to pay you more when our company is losing money. Mm -hmm. Can't do that. Yeah, I mean the dude still gets paid a lot. Josh of money, and I. That's true. Josh I and I have a theory about the Disney thing being a marketing issue. Would yeah, they dude, their their marketing, their marketing yeah. is. Terrible. Well, yeah, you think about. It, I mean, I don't know anything about Elemental, um, that Pixar yeah. movie yeah. that came out. A lot of people. I didn't even know what and it, it looks flopped. Like. I mean, not, not. I don't think it necessarily flopped because I think the reviews are good. I just think people didn't know about it. Yeah. But Did you guys like, know that there's a new Haunted Mansion out? Yeah, I'm excited about Is that. Is it out or going it's coming? It's, it's next coming, week. But it's like yeah. I had no, I got no ads about it whatsoever, yeah. and that's like one of my favorite Disney movies. Also with uh, Indiana Jones, it's mm -hmm. like I had no idea it was in theaters yet. Like there yeah, was, we knew it was there, happening, just yeah. not know when it was going to come out. Like it's yeah. like I looked at, I'm like, oh, it's been out for a week. Yeah, I had no idea. It seems so, like they just didn't get used to like the whole switch from cable to like all these different streaming services where you're. That's needs. definitely Dude, the struggle Oppen right now. Oppenheimer it's, and Barbie. Absolutely killed it with Dude, marketing. Yes. Barbie especially. Barbie the, the whole the whole dream house in Malibu. Yeah. Did you see yeah. that? Yeah. That was so dope. And just yeah, they're they're crushing. Yeah, that marketing it. team needs their trailers. The way they were um, with uh, they were doing the Planet of the Apes type mm -hmm. of thing. They yeah, were yeah. spoofing that. That was genius. So funny. Um, but oh my gosh. Um, speaking of Barbie. Yeah. What's that? We got that. Don't go anywhere. What is it? Ah! What happened? Ah! What are those? Ah! What is it? Oh, hey, whoa, no, no, calm down, calm down, calm down. They're, they're, they're just stickers, dude. They're just stickers. No, stop. It's okay. They're, they're made from sundaycool.com. They're really great. They're really tough. They're really durable. And they're easy to use. You can place them anywhere you want. You can make them fully custom. Whatever you want on a sticker. It's just a sticker. Touch it. Look at it. No, don't be scared. You can, get, you can go to sundaycool.com and order your own custom stickers today. And you don't have to be afraid of that. Okay, yeah, try really? it. Yeah, try it. <laughs> Dude, I'm so excited for this reel. Can I go? Don't talk it up, yeah. Andrew. Don't yeah, talk yeah. it up, Andrew. No, I'm gonna talk it because up. Because if you I'm talk it up, we, have, we raise the expectations, and if it doesn't work out, then it's like then we can't we we can't trust you when you say those things. I'm sorry. It's gonna be a trash reel, right? Sorry. It's gonna be a yeah. bad one. It's terrible. I was high when yeah. I found it, so yeah. it might suck. What have you been watching, Lil? Uh, we're in a lull. A lull? We're in a lull. It's a good day. It's a good time to be in a lull with this strike. You're not going to get new TV shows. Stranger Things episode season five is not coming out until 2027. <gasps> not that I care. They're going to be in their thirties, bro. Like it's is it oh really gosh. 2027. That's intense. You're sure. No Look doubt. it up. Uh, Rider Strike is now they're confirmed. That's basically going to be 2027 before that comes out. So many other things now, but that means you can kind of catch up on, you know, older movies or older shows you haven't seen yet. You're going to make Andrew cry. Yeah, I know. Stranger Things thing. It says 2025. 2025? Well, look at the writer strike. Look at all the yeah, rumors for that. There would be new updates yeah. from the writer strike. Um, did you... Uh, oh, I started watching Vanderpump Rules. 
<laughs> it was, and it is, man, it's a lot. Oh, who's your it's favorite? So, no, I don't know. That's the thing. You hate them all. No, yeah. First of all, everyone's like, I can't stand you. You're poison. Um, I like the funny people though. There uh-huh. are some, there are some funny people. The 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 uh, lady owner, she's mm-hmm. she can be very funny. Yeah. Um, but right now it's tough for me. The names. Mm-hmm. There's so many people, and they're all connected somehow. Yeah. Because that person was with that person, that person, and it's. I'm having a hard time. It's Vanderpump very Rules. Incestuous. Oh, I'm yeah. trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Wasn't that ad fun? That ad, that ad was honestly. I kind of scared me a bit. Yeah. But uh, I think I'm glad we did it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, gl- yeah. I'm glad you were there with me. Yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, yeah I'm glad. Shaking. What are you scared about? What the ad? Oh what we just yeah, had? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Man, um, I have had a lot of caffeine though. <laughs> Not nearly enough. Whoa, caffeine high. Where's my face? <laughs> I'm a I'm a lamp. <laughs> I'm a lamp. <laughs> what are you doing right now? Um, but you know what time it is. Question corner, question corner, question corner with Lily. And the questions are fresh, fresh on, on her mind. mind. <sighs> Everyone knows I like popsicles. Yep, popsicles. We are aware. I would call myself a frozen dessert connoisseur. Okay. Name five frozen desserts. <laughs> Popsicles, ice cream, and sorbet, and chocolate-covered bananas, <laughs> and... <laughs> G- gelato. Gelato. Yeah! Wow, you well are a connoisseur. <laughs> well done. Anywho, I particularly like uh, blizzards. Okay. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Like that kind of Oreo? variety. No. Are you talking like just a mixture of or, uh, I mean, a, I a blizzard or a blast? <laughs> like did, did Dairy not, Queen? Yes. Like candy and ice cream blended I, I gotcha, up. I gotcha, I gotcha. Some people call it a concrete. What is your favorite chain? Where's your favorite place to get one of those? Ooh. Your options include Dairy Queen, mm-hmm. Sonic, mm-hmm. Culver's, McFlurry, so McDonald's. Or a Chick Fil A milkshake, which that's the that's the Oof. anomaly out of here, but relevant, I think. Dairy Queen. Honestly, you're not taking price into account. I am. Dairy Queen's so expensive. No, it is not. Yeah. No. Yes. No. A that's sm- like a six dollar no, ice cream. No. Are we saying? Are we saying what's the best? Or are we saying you yeah. have to choose one for the rest of your life or something? Because if you're talking about the best, it doesn't matter about the price. This is like a double question. I guess I'm taking. Economics? No, just say your account. favorite. Okay, well, Dairy Queen obviously has the best. Okay, you can only have one for the rest of your life. <laughs> Dairy Heath, Queen. Heath Bar Dairy Queen. Ooh. I know, Heath my bar? 97. I love Heath Bar, too. Really? <laughs> you have a toffee one? Yeah. yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Heath. No. No. What it's even also the most unattractive name in the world, too, right? What? Hey. Heath. There's some Heath Apologies to all the Heaths out there. I'm sure you're very what handsome. Heath Ledger? But the name alone. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Change the game. Um, oh man, I would honestly choose. Andrew can't have any. I just, I just remembered that. Yeah. <laughs> you just remembered that. <laughs> I have an answer though. Um, I'm going to say Chick-fil-A cause I used to make the uh, milkshakes when oh. I worked at Chick-fil-A and I would combine the chocolate one with cookies and cream. I came up with that cause I made sense <laughs> and it was actually like an off menu thing. You worked at Chick-fil-A? Yeah, I did. Like did a, you get a scholarship? I did not. I was every place that I worked, I worked Burger King and Chick-fil-A and I literally was like always trying to leave. My parents made me get a job. Uh-huh. And so if it was ever slow, I'd be like, I'll go home. And <laughs> so like, I probably worked like every day. It was like a two and a half hour shift. Nice. So yeah. What's better, Burger King or Chick-fil-A? Um, well, I can't actually eat the chicken at Chick-fil-A because it goes through a milk wash. Unless Bottle it's milk. Grilled. So oh, shoot. Burger King was legit though. Slept on. I like Burger King. Yeah, I, I, too. I love McFlurry's. Because those are nostalgic, but if you're talking about the best flavor and it's the one and done, I'm not a I I'm a one type of guy flavor. Okay, if I know it, I love it. I'm gonna keep ordering it, and it's that peach milkshake from Chick Fil A. I had one today. I'm obsessed. It's the greatest milkshake I've ever tried in my life. All right, we talk about I'm all right. It's so good. Greatest, but it's, it's the greatest. Good. All right, you say DQ. Yeah, Dairy all Queen. day, all day. Okay, we've not listen. Dude, Sonic Cole? is an honorable mention. Yeah, Sonic yeah. is. They, they got some good. They got everything. They got a good and mix up. It's literally bigger than your stomach is. Yeah. 
the ice cream that they yeah, give that's you. True. What is that on Parks and Rec? It's like, uh, how is this? It's like that uh, 120. It's like, how is this a child size? Because a small child can actually fit inside of it. <laughs> Uh, but I'm a Col dude. Have you had Culver's with the cheese curds dipped in? They have cheese Dang, curds there. Yeah, you dip in the chocolate milkshake, dude. It's we, the greatest combo. My grandparents used to after school they'd pick us up sometimes, <laughs> yeah. and we would go to Wendy's sometimes. Mm. I'd get a frosty and I'd dip my French fries in it. I didn't say frosty, dude. Yeah, mm. I went there last Dang. night with the youth group. It but was insane. My grandma thought it was so disgusting. She said. You can die by doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so for years, I was like, oh. <laughs> Is it worth it? I saw a kid last night die. dipping full-on chicken nuggets into the Frosty. I do that that's all a, day. That, no, that's amazing. All okay. day. I've never tried it, so I can't speak into it. I that. thought you were going to say, well, it probably would kill you. It probably would. Yeah, I mean, probably. Who knows? One day we'll do best chicken nugget. Ooh, I think we need to do a taste test. I think we need to actually <gasps> do like a blind taste test because I feel like I could tell apart. Oh Chicken yeah, nuggets? I can yeah, tell by yeah. shape For alone. Sure. Shape alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shape alone. <laughs> well, you'd have to. Do, it would have to be blind, blind taste test. I know, but you do this, and you'd, and you'd cut it. Well, no, they would have <laughs> to cut each one. Have to like put that. it in your mouth. I do it by texture alone. Okay. I love that you look, you look like a crab whenever you're touching <laughs> chicken nuggets. <laughs> Um, Andrew, Andrew, you have something for hey, us? Hey, what, oh, what's yes. a what's a band over here? Oh no! Oh Give no! Us a band. Any oh, band no. in the world? Mumford. Andrew has, Andrew has a real. Andrew has, Andrew has a real. That was good. All right, so this is what uh, laying in bed for a week found me. Um, I want to know if you guys have ever heard of this or ever tried it. Instagram? Yep, you ready? Okay. And I just sent it. All right, click on the chat. And, yep. and always, I think it helps wait, to. Mine's not popping I don't up have yet. it. Not yet. Everybody Ninja chill. Clan. It's waiting. Chill. Mine's still not popping up. Mine's not up. You sent it to your. All right, other everyone chillax. It's coming. It takes <laughs> a second is. to send. I don't have it. <laughs> everyone, I don't have it. Refresh, refresh. I'm doing it incessantly. Sound, Audio or no? Sound does matter in this one. All right, Josh, you have sound. I don't have it. Relax. Is your wife We're not doing it yet. I just turned it off. We're not doing it yet. We won't do it until you have it, I promise. This is just like Oppenheimer. <laughs> okay, I have it. This is just like Oppenheimer. All right, chat. <laughs> click the chat in three, two, one. I clicked it. Then click the video. So, Amazon package, right? This is supposed to be the most world sourest candy. Uh oh. I don't know. I'm going to find out. Okay, I got to try it. You like sour candy, Andy? No, I do Where love I challenging food, though. Look at it. Look how sour it is. Look, oh, just look no. at the powder. Deceased, the right? Stuff. He died. Let me see. Oh, no. <gasps> Let me guess. You you have oh. some. Oh. No, oh, you yeah. no. Yeah. <laughs> Do you really? I can't do it. I can't do yes. it. Yes, you do. No. You I'm have to. It's here. That's a good one. I can't do it. Yes, you do. Yes, All you right. can. Come on. You have to. Oh, no. This is great. I already have a little I'm bit so of a headache. I'm so excited. I'm scared. Someone, someone come grab these from me. I get me in charge. Dis disperse them. All right. right. Here, grab two and then I'll hand. Have you tried it yet? Oh, yeah. So don't. You got to try don't, it now, too. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Just, what do you think, So the challenge, it's, it's pretty gnarly. So the challenge. Uh, <laughs> You hit me in the shoulder. Should I give one to Demi and Zola when we yes. get home? Okay, so hold up, hold up. The challenge is not to just try it. It's of the four of us. Who can keep it in the longest? Who can keep oh. it in the longest. Let's go! I'm you not, have to try. I'm I know it's going to sound. I know it's going to. I hate, hate sour I know you do, but I didn't you have know to try. I hate sour Competition stuff. right here. I, my heart's racing. All right, here we go. You ready? I in, in three, two, one. Mama. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! I'm out. <laughs> Is that really that bad? Shut up. <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> Give me another one. Dude, my tongue feels. <laughs> Give me okay? another one. Are you okay? <laughs> Ooh, that feels like it burnt my tongue. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm you okay? Get your, get, your, <laughs> get your mic. 
Your mic. <laughs> You're going through. <laughs> I don't want to hear me. <laughs> here, throw it over here. <coughs> Are you okay? Dude, what's wrong with your palate, bro? It's completely oh, you, clean. You've, yeah, I've heard it's pretty good once you get all the way through, but I can't get there. Oh, my gosh. I'm crying. What is wrong with you? <laughs> that doesn't taste sour to you at all? I mean, oh like, I can, I notice the sourness, but it's not making me sour. It's not making me sour. Is that what had, sour face? Like, is that what they call when you get sour? I held it on my tongue. I didn't move it around or anything like yeah, that. And yeah, then I when <laughs> I did. <laughs> yeah, that's what exactly what I did. <laughs> Dude, awful. That's poison. That's a bummer. Okay. I don't think people want to hear you sloshing on a sucker. Can you hear it? Yeah, a little bit. Ew. <laughs> I have tears coming out of my eyes. It made me sweat even more, dude. I know. I went. Sweaty. You yeah, did. I went. I do. Don't touch your eyes. <laughs> That's not normal. You know that. I don't know. Maybe my maybe my tongue is just deteriorating. I don't know. Yeah. It's falling apart. That's what uh, caused cancer. Oh, cool. That thing. It's just a bunch of asbestos around uh, a gumdrop ball. Yeah. 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 I'm not a fan. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. Andrew, that was I'm really fun. glad you brought that. Yeah. That was fun. My eyes are it was crying. only seventy dollars. <laughs> really? No, oh. I'm just kidding. Worth it. Um, I'm gonna have Kelsey dry one tonight. That's hilarious. Now this water tastes weird. <laughs> Everything's gonna. R- if, if we gave that to Ada, she would die. <laughs> a small child. She just like implode. <laughs> Straight into a coma. Watch, she looks right, makes eye contact, goes. He's like, <laughs> dude. When I first got it and I'm opened it up, you. a cloud of whatever chemical dust they dust that with. Like I inhaled it. Oh. Okay. Speaking of sour things. Yeah. Did you guys see that thing that washed up on the shore in Australia? <clears throat> the big metal thing? Yeah. No. What was that? Do they know yet? Listen. They this giant metal thing washed up on shore in Australia and for like for a week they're like had these like uh I don't even know who they were, but they were wearing like hazmat suits Uh-oh. and they're like examining it. And like for a week they're like we have no idea what this is. But the thing that they came up with, they said it's space junk from a foreign wa- uh, walk it. <laughs> rocket. Rocket. <laughs> walk it. <laughs> space junk from a foreign rocket. Jeez. What does foreign mean? Like foreign from where? That's what I'm this saying. This earth? Oh. It's huge. It's huge. ginormous. Like you stand next to it. It's like. <gasps> and it just washed up? Just washed up. It looks like it's made out of like copper or something. I don't know, man. It's really weird. It's like bolted shut at the top. Oh, weird. It's strange. It's the size of like a car. Yeah. Weird. Where did it come from? What's in it? Where What's in it? Go? Yeah, like there's got to be some type of test where like what it was storing inside, right? Yeah. I don't know. No. But this got me on. I saw this on old Joe Rogie. Oh. Um, he was talking to the scientists about. Um, I'm. I really. I need to start writing down how you say things. Yeah. Because I'm totally gonna butcher it. I think the Amamua. Object, Perfect. the Amamua object, okay, that they found in space uh, in October 2017. It's this long, elongated thing that's like the size of a football field, and it's the first object that they've been able to track in our solar system that came from outside of our solar system. Uh oh, yeah. really? And they're like, oh, it's a a meteor, and but there is no aspect of it that was a meteor there was no like uh what they call it cosmic tail coming off of it yeah and so the scientist guys he's like i'm just gonna like just he called himself like the sherlock holmes i'm gonna like dive into it and like try to figure it out but it was traveling so fast that it wasn't attached to anything gravitational wise so like when it got closer to the sun it sped up to pass the sun like so when it gets sucked into the sun wow so it was like intelligent enough to be like yeah, well, so, they're like, what could it be? Yeah. Because it came from outside of our solar system. It changes size, speeds. Changes speeds. And they he said, like, um, the light on it would change, too. Like, it yeah. almost, like, it oh, control weird. its own light. Weird. Yeah. Well, yeah. If, you're, if you're changing speeds um, when you're going around a certain star or whatever, like, that would, I would say that's in- intelligent life or some type of intelligent life, yeah. right? Well, they found something, I think it was this past September, they found an object that somewhat resembled that, mm-hmm. that was but already already in our solar system. And it turns out that object was a rocket booster from one of the lunar trips, but um, it didn't, like everything about it didn't match what they saw. Yeah. It just behaved the same. Oh. Okay. 
Like so it wasn't its, it's in, trajectory yeah. and like how it just like moved through space. Maybe it's like a type of material that I feel like I look like I just got broken up with <laughs> because of that sour thing. Um, maybe it's like a type of material that like the core of the sun repels. Mm. Like magnets that aren't supposed That's to That's interesting. Butts. I know, yeah, like, like, am I a physicist? <laughs> am I a scientist? <laughs> um, magnets? <laughs> you yeah, know when like, you try to put two butts of a magnet together? <laughs> two butts of a magnet? <laughs> I think I figured it out. <laughs> Step aside, booger eaters. <laughs> Lily's here. <laughs> but isn't that crazy? <laughs> that I mean, is bonkers. It, but they said the shape of it, it was like, it was like flat yeah. and like oblong. Like, it kind of looked like a rock, but it was Oblong? Just like, Oblong. Word of the day, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to mock me. No. Like, I'm always a blong, really? Given that's not even a word. Um, okay, that's a that's a 10-point word. So what is it? Mainly. Who knows? But it's gone now. Um, it, went, it went right close to Earth and went out. And it weird. made that noise, too. Yeah, it went. <laughs> it made two different noises? Is there <laughs> three different noises? Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, this kind of mm-hmm. piggybacks off of the um, unknown objects in the ocean right there. Um, but there is a thing about a guy who used to work in the Navy in the 70s. Uh-oh. And he um, used to, uh, they place an acoustic sensor device all throughout the ocean floor in the certain areas. Mm. And this was to map the ocean floor, detect submarines, and find another anomalies and stuff. Okay. The technology covers a large portion of the ocean floor and has given the Navy an amazing perspective of their underwater terrain. That's mm. what it says. And then uh, it says, one of the contacts while in the Navy who worked on the ASW team, was re- who was responsible for monitoring the sensors and everything, they would discuss underwater submersible objects that detected that would travel at thousands of miles per hour Mm. underwater what are you talking about he said, he said they also have detected various structures underwater that are active and that are they stay clear of and so those might be like volcanoes or whatever okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they're detecting actual anomalies this came underwater. out recently this is uh, a report left from a guy that worked at in the navy in the 1970s oh yeah. the, that was in the 70s they were tracking this stuff when they had the, when they placed the sensors devices in um on the ocean floor that is so oh. yeah. cool so Je- like I, you know how you get stoked about space yeah. I get stoked about the ocean. Well, those are probably like alien stuff, though. Yes! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're meeting. Dude, the ocean freaks me out way more than space. Yeah. And it makes me wonder, like, are, is because they always say, like, oh, 95% of the um, the ocean isn't discovered. But it's like, is there a reason for that? Or is mm. it kind of like, we get it? Like, is yeah. there is there or enough like, evidence out there where it's like, we really don't need to? Or, like, don't go looking. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, yeah, is yeah. It, are we yeah. doing that on purpose? Yeah. Or oh, They're still discovering stuff. Did you guys see the underwater lake that they found yeah, at yeah. a certain level? That was wow. trippy. Yeah. Dude, so there's it, was like, a, it was like the lowest point or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, like, the water is just a different density. The guy was, like, looking out his window. He was like, that's a lake. I'm underwater. Why can I see another lake? Weird. And it was literally like falling off yeah, a shelf. Yeah, not only that, like Whoa. when a fish, uh, like the submarine couldn't even go through it. Couldn't penetrate. Like they it couldn't. Just so dense. Yeah. yeah, and then like when uh, like a uh, like the clams or something that were down there. I don't remember. When they went in the water, it literally rippled. Yeah, Weird. Yeah, that's crazy to me. Yeah. It's like it's nuts. It's like Squidward taking a bath in SpongeBob. You're like, wait a <laughs> yeah. minute, why are you taking a bath in the ocean? I don't wait, understand. It works. <laughs> um, but speaking of the ocean, yeah. Have you guys ever heard of the doomsday fish? No. This is the no. weirdest thing ever. Where the- do you find this stuff? <laughs> we live together. I know. Um, what are you researching? Yeah. It's when? called it's a it's called a deep sea oar fish. Okay. Like a rowing yeah. boat oar. Yeah. Um, but they can grow up to like thirty six feet long, and they are the creep. They look like aliens. They're Ew. the freakiest looking fish ever. What is it called? Uh, you can look up doomsday fish okay. or deep uh, sea or or fish. Yeah, you're um, a deep sea or. But <laughs> uh, your mother's a deep deep fish or. <laughs> I can never. Uh, my bad. You said or. Continue. Continue. You said or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> continue. The O was. Dude, silent. those are look so creepy. <laughs> yeah, but they. they oh, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue. <laughs> You said or. Yes, okay. I said or quit saying it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but they call them the doomsday fish because um, when they come up from the deep sea, yeah. Dude, they're big. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like, like, 36 feet long. I know, but like long, but like they're, oh, yeah. they're freaking yeah, they're huge. Like, wow. yeah. 36 feet? They, that's what they can grow up to. 
but the the uh, like Japan and Taiwan, they just spotted one in Taiwan recently coming up from the bottom of the ocean. Oh my uh-huh. gosh. And they call it the doomsday fish because um, for I don't even know hundreds of years, whenever the people of the this uh, Japan, Taiwan, all these islands and stuff, when they would see this fish, something terrible would happen. Oh no! So the last time these fish came up and washed ashore, that giant tsunami hit Japan. <gasps> uh oh! Cool, cool, cool. And so this one was just spotted in Taiwan. I think this past week. Yeah. And it was coming up, but it also had these like really weird mysterious looking holes in it yeah, i just saw that it was yeah so scary so i'm i'm loving all the parallels today we're seeing the doomsday fish now we have the 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 comparison between the aliens in, in the oppenheimer yeah. and oppenheimer dropping so this is fun dude this could is that, cool could a lot that of fun that washed up in australia what if that was one of those underwater craft there's so much happening. Because they like the best we can guess is that it's space junk from a foreign rocket. Yeah. We don't like, know. Do you think you'd there would be something on it be like, oh yeah, this is from China or this is from North Korea? You like would if think a piece we had of a enough cult. knowledge, yeah, about yeah. what our partners are doing. But they're studying that thing for like a week on the beach. They closed the beach off. Yeah. It's gotta be made out of some type of material they can pinpoint. Yeah. Because it can't be new. It's yeah. gotta be somewhat old, I imagine. Kryptonite. <gasps> Possibly. Maybe <gasps> there was an alien Speaking. inside. Maybe there was yeah, maybe there was a superhero inside of that thing and bust it out whoa nice whoa. that's a that's a whoa that's a superhero a- egg a wow <laughs> and he hatched it's a robot <laughs> egg oh um but yeah did you guys hear about the uh the kid in the army in uh north korea no okay no. so this happened this past week as well mm. this um kid in the army i call him kid because he's like i think he's literally like 20 yeah um he got arrested for being at a bar or a club and then like fighting people. Yeah. And so they arrest the mil- U S military arrested him and they're shipping him or flying him back to the U S and, but when he was in the airport, there was some law in South Korea where the, the U S marshals couldn't bring him to the gate. And so he got to the gate. He's like, Oh, I accidentally left my passport. And they said, okay, yeah, go get it. And he, he literally walked out of the airport. He jumped on a tour bus. What? Went to the uh, demilitarized zone of in between North and South Korea and was with the group and then took off full speed running over the North Korean border. Why would you do and, that? And so now they have him captive. To and, North Korea? Yeah. Why? And Why they said that he that? was like laughing while he was doing it. He jumped over joke. there, immediately apprehended, and now he's in North Korea. Who knows what's there now for North Korea though? This is like they have um, an American. Yeah, they have a leg up now. That they can do like negotiations now. Jeez, and it's like, bro. Yo, it's like like keep them, dude. Like whatever you running over there for. Also, they must not be that on top of things in South Korea. It's just a prank. Like, I'm joking, guys. I was joking. I can't Take imagine in South Korea's defense. I can't imagine there are a lot of people willingly running over the border. Yeah, in North Korea. I think so. They were like, yeah, they're probably like quite what? the opposite. Like what? people were like running to the South yeah, Korea. He's, they're he's like, where are you doing? running to? Yeah. Everyone's like, why are you running that way? The North Koreans are like, wait a second, you can do that. <laughs> you can come over here. They're like, oh, oh, this has never happened before. Did we grab him? <laughs> Are you lost? <laughs> Sir, you want to go this way? Yeah. Uh-oh. Are you sure? Yeah. Take but me into custody. Speaking of military things, too, because this I thought this was really funny. Mm-hmm. So um, right now under like NATO and all this stuff, uh, Vladimir Vladimir Putin is uh, has war crimes against him. So like he's okay, basically yeah. a, uh, I don't know what you call him, a war criminal, yeah. right? Um, so if he steps foot in any of these countries that have any alliance to NATO... He has to be arrested mm. and he's planning a trip. Vladimir Putin's planning a trip to South Co- or South Africa uh-huh. and um, South Africa. They were like, you can't because we have to arrest you. But they like weirdly like Vladimir Putin. Yeah. And so he's like, I'm coming anyways. Yeah. And they're like, um, and so they went and like asked NATO, like, can you like not have, repercussions for us if we don't arrest him like no you have to arrest him if yeah. he comes they're like yeah we don't want to uh, oh. so it's like this weird yeah. oh no like it's this just super weird How, situation can, can you guys come down and take care of him because like, like we don't want to do yeah, that because yeah, yeah. it's like i mean think of like uh 
a, the Russia is like a powerhouse. Yeah. yeah. And if you arrest their leader, then that country of the powerhouse yeah, is like, probably going to be at war. South Africa. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would be nervous. And so, so but South Africa is like, hey, don't <laughs> maybe just don't come yet. And he's yeah. like, I'm coming. Yeah. And like, hey, NATO, get, what what do we do? Yeah. And like, you have to arrest him. So he has hopefully he has like a connecting flight in like London or something. <laughs> <laughs> Just in Heathrow, just waiting. Like, oh, how the tables have turned. <laughs> Arrest him. <laughs> Arrest him now. Him. Vladdy, you've been very baddy. <laughs> to the jail. <laughs> to every, to every, Scotland Yard. <laughs> does every cop in London rhyme their words? <laughs> Vladdy, you've been a baddy. <laughs> just that, tisk. that would be that, that. You know that would be on the newspaper headline. <laughs> yeah. Um, last thing about I have with... Uh, worldwide conflict stuff i have some korea stuff that remember that uh assassination um oh yeah yeah on king john un's brother yeah, yeah. half brother or whatever yeah let me let me yeah. say this first yeah because this was the craziest thing to me so china and india have a border that mm. that goes through like the himalayas and stuff and they have a, a basically a treaty to where at the border they're not allowed to shoot each other okay. but they both hate each other what border is this? Sorry. Uh, India and China. India and China, okay. And it's very remote, like yeah. deep in the mountains. And the Chinese and the Indians are constantly moving where the line is, like the border line. Yeah. And so they're constantly fighting, but they're not allowed to shoot each other. But China and India came to agreement, you guys can kill each other. It can't be with guns and stuff, but you can use whatever you want. Oh. And so oh they're like, gosh, the, like the, the troops on both sides, they're literally making like medieval weapons. Oh, oh my goodness. No. Like a trident, swords, spears. A trident? Yes. And yeah. like I looked up videos. It's crazy. They're like yeah. on a mountaintop and they're just like literally just fighting each other, but like killing each other. Oh, Jeez. terrible. Over a border. Yeah. Yeah. They're just having fun. Like at in that a part <laughs> of the world <laughs> yeah. where no one's probably going to go. Do you, why do you think they got rid of the guns? Do you think it's one of those things where it's like, hey, we don't want that, like... Probably so the conflict doesn't arise. Yeah. Like, something... Because they're less likely to Go fight. to war yeah. if they're just fighting with swords. Yeah. It reminds me of that, that Abra um, Albert Einstein quote that you mentioned, like how... Oh, like, the sticks and stones. Like how we don't know how World War Three is going to be fought, but World War Four will be fought with sticks and stones. Yeah. I was... We saw... Um, I'm on the Mid Journey. We, we oh, got a subscription. Crazy, Lil. We got a subscription to Mid Journey, which is that AI art program. Okay. And you just, you know, uh, there was somebody that put out there like, you know, give us the next, the give us the coolest guy in each decade for the next hundred years, right? So in 2030, as you can imagine, all the way up to 2100. Is that what you would call it? 2100. 21st century. 21st century. No, 22000. Yeah, 20, 20, 20, yeah, 21st whatever. 2100. Um, yeah. Every, it just kept getting like more futuristic LED like jackets and lights and cool like slick back hair, all like very robotic technical okay. stuff. But then after 2090, it went to the 2100s. That first decade was a man covered in fur <gasps> and in like and uh, um, plating, metal plating, like a knight. Yeah. And, uh, AI is yeah. giving us this time. So like people, people, so like the 90s yeah. and stuff, they had like a dude that looked like the 90s, but like he was a warrior with yeah. like neon glasses and like a, a cell phone suit cyberpunky type of feel okay. but then it's suit, like no joke the next 10 years it's this it's renaissance time basically <gasps> and so what? that like so the top comments were like is our is ai telling us that like that'll be the decade where we have the out. ai war you guys are freaking <laughs> me out ada's babies will be alive then yeah but we won't be so yeah they'll have fun i'm very concerned about ada's baby <laughs> i'll be all right they'll fight hard um, uh. speaking of Ada, she has figured out how to unlock all the doors in our house. <laughs> you sent me that video of her running outside that house. We can show the video, right? Yeah. Why not? Cause it's kind of funny. At least her just yeah, running outside. Well, yeah. While well, we're talking, I was, so I was filling the tub up for Ada and, uh, I got the ring notifications that someone was on the side of her house and I'm like, why would Lily go outside right now? And I'm like, Ada couldn't have gone out cause I locked the doors yeah. like big locks. And I, I walk out. I'm like, Lily? I'm like, oh, no, it was Ada. And I ran to the front yeah. and then ran to the back. And she had run out the door, ran around the entire house, and then got on the trampoline in the back. It's so funny. because She's the, just like, yeah. Because the video's right above the door. You see Ada and just... Dude, she takes, well, walk over, run away, she's got and then, rockets. And then she's Josh so, walks out, looks, walks over here, and then panics and runs that way. And then, like 10, 20 seconds later, Lily walks out. 
Josh, Ada. <laughs> this just keeps running. So funny. She's dude. the fastest two year old I've ever seen. Yeah, and it, now she's now she's two and a half. She can figure out those locks, man. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. So I got these like it's like uh, these heavy duty like door jam locks yeah. that you put up real high and it, like bolts in. Yeah, every t- um, every time yeah. we um, we lock up our kids at once a week, mm-hmm. we just do a nail gun. Yeah. Just do a nail gun, and then we do the um, like Cheerios underneath the actual yeah, yeah. door. We just yeah, slide yeah, it just in. to feed them. That's and good stuff. parenting. Yeah, yeah. Good parenting. that's yeah. good. Um, you, oh, that's your wife. That's my wife. Say the North Korean thing. Oh, you want to talk about? Okay, yeah, all right. So, there's this crazy. Uh, crazy, crazy story that I heard, um, learned about, and it's about these guys who wanted uh, to start. Let me start over. <laughs> Okay, so it's two girls in two different places. Okay, one is in I believe uh, it's Thailand or and then Indonesia, right? Okay. It's two different girls. They get approached to be part of a YouTube prank channel. Okay, so these girls get reached out to, and they say all you have to do is you have to you have to wear what we tell you to wear, and you have to take this ointment or this powder, and you have to throw it or rub it on people's faces that we tell you to. And so this goes on for quite a few months. They start getting paid. Like prepping, Not a lot, like, but yeah. And the, like the camera work, they said, we're, we have cameras set up yeah. in the airport. That Yeah, so they give specific targets, what to dress, and they pay them. Not a lot, um, um, a lot of money to them, but it really wasn't a lot um, compared to, you know, our standards. But it's like one of those things where they started doing it more and more throughout the months. And then they have said, okay, now we want you guys to fly to the Malaysian airport and we're going to have a target for you there. And they had them a very specific uniform, and everything. They got them their, um, their powder and they went up to this man in the airport and they rubbed it on his face and he died. I've seen this. Yeah. I've seen this. Yeah. The guy that they rubbed the stuff on his face was King John King Kim, Kim Jong Un's Kim Jong Un's half brother. Crazy. So Jeez. they assassin- King John Nam, and so they re- had there was a, it was like a V. It's called like a, a X eight or something. It's a type of uh, whatever they put inside the powder, but they rubbed on his eyes, killed him, absolutely <gasps> yeah. made him drop dead right there in the airport. And these girls got charged. Yeah, they got uh, arrested for yeah, murder. Yeah. And so this, it was this Crazy. huge thing, but it was a big assassination attempt. They had been trying to assassinate him for many, many years, yeah. but this is how they figured it out, which Crazy. is so scary. Those poor girls. Yeah. I mean, yeah. but it's like, don't sign up for, I think the charges ended up getting dropped though. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it came, it yeah. came back that out. That would yeah, be such a major investigation. Like, well, it was years. I think they they were in prison. I mean, yeah. How, like what, what I think of an unbelievable case. Yeah. yeah. Like, no, this is what happened. Okay, sure. Yeah, all right. Right. I'm so serious. Dude, but the, the, to string them along for months yeah. is crazy to me. Like, that, like that's a true commitment. Like, that's a scary thing. Yeah. But the whole conspiracy behind it is, is that the American CIA was oh, behind wow. it. Did not know that. Yeah, there's a there's a whole conspiracy thing on it that that, that they were the ones that were fueling the whole um, the whole uh, prank channel and everything, and oh that's gosh. why hey, there we were gotta, so many we moving start parts. talking, saying some good things about the CIA <laughs> and FBI and stuff. Yeah. I know. Hey, so we're uh, definitely on a list by now. Yeah, yeah. probably. Hey okay. guys, keep up the good work. We think you guys have really good personalities. Yes. You know my roommate from college, her brother's in the CIA. Ooh. Uh oh! Exposed. Uh-oh. Oh, is this a secret? No. <laughs> oh. Wait, is that she's, a secret? Just she's like, is that a secret? And then not just anymore. A, a dart <laughs> <laughs> just drops dead right there. Anyways, that's all I got, dude. I, I got, got a couple more things. I got something happy just to end it with. Nice. You ready? Um, do you guys know how many people uh view the Super Bowl in the United States every year? Oh, Too many. let's do five hundred million. Nope. No, because there's three hundred million people in the U.S. Uber. <laughs> It could have been. People I'm going to guess. 200 million people could have traveled into America. To I'm going to guess it. 5 million people watch the Super Bowl. It's um, 115 million, <gasps> oh. 56 million international views. Oh, wow. So Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi have both left. I think soccer is a better sport than football, but that's a debate for a different day. Just the unveilings. I'll give you a guess for Cristiano Ronaldo in the Saudi League. How many views? How many people watched? Globally. Just the unveiling, like, he's here. 600 million. I'll go with that, too. I'll go 800 million. Three billion. Wow! There's only seven of them! Lionel Messi. (laughs) There's only seven seven of them! them Billions. Maybe there's eight now, I don't know. Leo Messi in Miami. Um, Let's do... It's three billion. I don't know. You started low? Did you start low? 
I'm gonna go lower because it's an American league. And I'm gonna go salary. higher. I'm gonna go five billion. Four billion. Five. Two. Three point five. Three point five. Jeez. So close. it was more. For just the dude walking out and saying, Hi guys. Thanks that for letting is... me on your team. Oh, it wasn't even a game? No, it's not a game. It's an unveiling for both what? of them. What? That is crazy. Bonkers, dude. I've heard where uh, more people watch just normal everyday soccer games more than people watch the Super Bowl. Which that's pretty impressive. Like every yeah, like yeah. normal season games, yeah, are watched so much more than just the Super Bowl numbers. That's bonkers. That is crazy. Okay. All right, very good, <laughs> very good, <laughs> very good. Oh, uh, very good. So if we hey. have any fans who want to buy us tickets to a a messy game, enter Miami. Give me game. another sour one, please. You're crazy. Are you, are are you serious? You're gonna throw up. Yeah, you, that might not be good for you. <gasps> it can't be. Where did it say it came from? China. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. North Korea? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> That's the powder. That's is this the powder. a YouTube prank show? <laughs> now my tongue is starting to... It's wearing down, I think. <laughs> this says, may have an adverse effect on activity and attention in children. <laughs> <laughs> like you could kill your kid. <laughs> <laughs> that one was the most sour one. Maybe. That was really good. Oh, yeah. Good. That was really good. Hey guys, make sure to rate our podcast. What do you call it? Yeah, rate it. Yeah, yeah. Five review. stars. Rate and review. Rate and review. Write and review. Write a review. And go buy some merch. Uh, for oh Sunday. yeah, go buy some merch. Dot com. Yeah, go buy some merch because yeah, we got that new shirt up there, and we're about to get a really cool hat and a really cool shirt. And I won't give too much away. Hopefully a bandana. And hopefully a bandana. Really cool stuff coming. SundayCoolSwag.com. What are they commenting? What are they saying? Um, we'll have a comment. We'll ice have, cream. We'll pick on it. It's good. Ice cream. Okay. Love you. Love you guys. Bye. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We love y'all. We love you. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful. Has an empty your mind? You were martial arts. Looks like we just wrapped up the podcast, Andy. Oh, we sure did. Man, <laughs> that feels good, doesn't it? Episode 49. In the books. In the books. Oh, man. All the number 50, baby. Feels real, real nice. <sighs> it feels so nice. It feels so good. When we do a podcast. Yeah. Feel so good for you listening and maybe watching us. Yeah, all of you across the globe, we love you so much. Yeah, Lily isn't even watching it, watching it, listening. Watching. <laughs> all right, I'm done.